Hello, it's me, Brandon Burns, aka Rally Rough Man from YouTube, of course. And tonight I felt like showing you uh, a famous WWF WWE. Huh? Sorry. Tonight I fe tonight I felt like showing you a famous WWF WWE pay per view from back in the day, and it's still going on. Stay tuned, and I'll show you and I'll tell you what the WWE pay per view is. I got the two just set well volume one and two, whatever. But I'm gonna I'm gonna show you. Just stay tuned. Okay. Yeah. The WWE Royal Rumble, Volume One, the anthology. Thank God I got that word right. And Volume Two, and I don't own Volume Three. I think Volume Three is still out. Of, I think Volume Three is still out of print. There was one on Amazon. It was, it was like a lot of money. One used like I think for like fifty dollars. I can't remember, but you know, it was like volume three. I'm wanting to get, but it's out of print a lot. And I think this one dismissed the last time I saw that on Amazon. But I only got volume ones and volume one and two <coughs> of the Royal Rumble. Volume one, the first Royal Rumble, 1988, second, 1989, third, 1994, 1991, and fifth, 1992. It was only six. Yeah, nineteen ninety three, seven, nineteen ninety four, eight, nineteen ninety five, ninth, nineteen ninety six, and two of the tenth, nineteen ninety seven. Sorry, a little technical technical difficulty. I'm sorry, but anyway, the first Royal Rumble volume. I like this pretty much. The early days, eighty eight. I think that's when Hacksaw Jim Duggan won that Royal Rumble '89. Uh, Big John Stud won that Royal Rumble when they had a remember that muscle contest between the Ultimate Warrior and Ravish and Rick Rude. That was hysterical. 1990. That's one of my favorite Royal Rumbles. 1990 it was so early WWF days. That's when Hulk Hogan won the Royal Rumble and they had that thing going on with Dusty Rose and the Macho King Randy Savage. Oh yeah, sensational Sherry taking on. Sapphire, baby. Oh, 91. That's when the Gulf War was happening, and Sergeant Slaughter became the bad guy facing the Ultimate Warrior. He won with, with the Macho Man, I mean, the Macho King Rain Savage cheated. Slaughter, you know, on the Iraqi side, took home the title. Hulk Hogan won that Rumble also. 91. I'm not going to tell you the whole Royal Rumble. I'm just going to tell you some of the good spots. 92, where Ric Flair won the Royal Rumble. The longest man in the Royal Rumble in 1992. He was number three. What else? And they had Roddy Piper finally win his, I think his first WWE title. I could be wrong. Against uh, the Mountie. Who recently just won it from Brett the Hitman Hart. And they had that, you know, the Bushwhackers versus um, the, the Beverly Brothers with the genius in their corner, baby. In 93, where Yoko was in on that Royal Rumble, they had that world title match between Razor Ramon and Brett the Hitman Hart and Shawn Michaels versus the Inter Marty Jannetty for the Intercontinental title. That's when the sensation with Sherry turned baby face for the very first time, you know. That's when I do remember. 94, where they had Lex Luger and Bret Hart as co-winners, and that's when Owen Hart turned on his brother. Bret Hart was in that tag team match, and Owen Hart became a heel yet again. Uh, this one, he really became a heel. It was a good heel turn for the company on myself, even though I was didn't watch it at a time too young to remember, but uh, what else? No. That's what I want to say about the 94. 95, that's when Shawn Michaels won that Royal Rumble with Pamela Anderson. That was, I know not a lot of people did, didn't like WWE for 95. All the terrible gimmicks, bad writing that was going on, but that was one of my favorite years of the WWE of the new generation era. Had that match between between Gizzo and Bret Hart for the world title, and then it got interrupted by Jeff Jarrett, Owen Hart, Bob Backlund. And the Rodian and Shawn Michaels, 96, when Shawn Michaels won the Royal Rumble, had that match with, between Bret Hart and The Undertaker. Got ruined by Big Daddy Cool Diesel. In 97, that's when Stone Cold cheated at that Rumble. That was a hysterical moment. And they had that match between Goldust and Hunter Hearst Hemsley. And the world title match between Cyclist Sid and Shawn Michaels. But the Royal Rumble is one of my all-time favorite pay-per-views. 30 men over the top, bro. Every one or two minutes, you know, another man will enter. One will get the, well, between 93, it started with the winner will get the world title shot at WrestleMania. 
30 men. It's going to be every man for himself. Only way to win that Royal Rumble is by having your eliminated, eliminated guy over the top row and their both feet have to touch the floor. That's all I'm going to say about the Royal Rumble. The WWE have a good night.